Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome to today's vlog. Now, I have just come back from the Mantic Open Day. Um, now, it is approximately two o'clock. We had to leave a little bit early. Uh, it's still going on right now, um, but I wanted to get to you guys and tell you a little bit about the day and what's going on and what everything. Um, uh, can you tell I'm, ex I'm a little bit excited? Let me set the scene. Um, myself and the League of Super Ultra Mega Geeks, we're into tabletop wargaming. And you've seen some videos of various different things that I've done before. Or at least I've got videos. Uh, you might not have seen them. And we, as a group, generally aren't happy with the, s the way things have been going with our current tabletop wargaming supplier and we have been looking at alternatives and different things like that and Mantic was one of the ones that trawling through the internet we found so Mantic tabletop wargaming and kind of board games sort of style uh, place um, and we was looking into it a couple of weeks ago and we, we noticed they had an open day so we thought well, let's go down um, we bought our tickets and three of us went today to check it out. We'll be reporting back to the rest of the group on the situation. But let me give you a kind of a high level thing what's going on here. If you don't know about Mantic, um, the thing that attracted me to the most, I, was, I, go, I went over there, the things that I look for is the models, do they look cool, are they cool, the rules, are they easy to understand, are they fun, You know, are they comprehensive, the price, is this affordable for me to do, is it a good affordable hobby, and they are the really the, the top three things, um, and also there's the collection side of it, is this something to collect, is it going to be a nice collection, because some, cause some things can be nice to buy, can be nice to play, but the collection itself doesn't feel nice overall, and of course the company, do you trust the company is going to give you what you want in the future and is going to treat you right as a consumer? Um, these are some of the things that we're not being happy about at the moment. And we went down to Mantic to see what was going on. So uh, after driving to the wrong location, we then drove to the correct location and uh, entered the car park. Here you can see uh, we went into the front entrance. It's not a massive um, operation there. Uh, at Mantic, it's it's a, a medium sized I would say little um, place, it, and we immediately went in, and there's people everywhere. Uh, I didn't know what to expect, and there's a lot of people in the rooms. There was a few little side rooms. There was some seminars bit, uh, booked in. We just started to look around at the various different products and models that Mantic had to offer, and we got a tap on the shoulder from one of the guys saying, "Seminar starting soon." about Kings of War, which is their fantasy wargaming uh, product. And it was like, yeah, yeah, we'll go on that. Because at the time of recording, they have a Kickstarter going at the moment, and I think it's got two or three days left. It's going for the rest of this weekend. Uh, so if you're watching this video when I put it up, you've got a couple of days to check it out and see what I'm talking about before it closes. Um, so we thought, let's go find out about that. We sat down in there um, for about an hour, and we was with, uh, there, was a, there was two of the guys at the front, the rest of the room was packed full of people, there's people on the floor, lining the walls, and it was basically an open Q&A about the Kings of War system and everything like that, and of course with the Kickstarter going on, there was lots of questions like, what are you going to do with this, will we see this in the future, this isn't in the Kickstarter, will it be coming out later, and pretty much most of the answers they gave were around the sort of, if you've heard that we might be doing it, we probably are. Uh, if you want it, we will probably do it. The, I wasn't necessarily interested in the precise questions they were given. I wanted an overall feel about what their ethos is and how they're going to drive the hobby forward. And the whole ethos is of, of that you can get the rules, your core rules, uh, and, and I believe you can get them, the core rules off their website for free, free download. You don't have to use any particular models, um, and they just encourage you to give it a go and, and try it. And one of the cool things about the gaming system is it seems that you can just go down, chuck your models out, and have a game in an hour or two, even a fairly big one, 
and that's it. You've had your fun, you got gone, you, you sort it out, and there's nothing, because normally at the minute, when we want to play a tabletop war game, we have to book out the day, you know, to set everything up, um, you know, the tables, the terrain, and all that sort of stuff, and then it takes us forever to make the lists, do this, do that, and the other. To be honest, there's probably too many options, and too many different things that we can do, and it, that's just what takes forever. But you can get down and play one of these games an hour or so. And whilst we were there, there was some people playing some of the other games. Like uh, I think I, I, I definitely saw some Dreadball going on. That looked interesting. Um, a lot of people. Um, it was said in the in the seminar. Uh, a lot of people go, "Oh, Dreadball. That that's Blood Bowl. I'm not interested in that." And then they go play it and they, go, "Oh, wow, that's brilliant. It's nothing like Blood Bowl," um, which is encouraging. You know, um, so looking at Mantic and their products overall, it seems to me that they've got two core sort of things. They've got their fantasy setting, they've got their sci-fi setting, they've got their main Kings of War and Warpath, with the main army things in each one, and then they've got the smaller things. They've got the uh, Dead Zone and... Um, the dungeon saga for the fantasy, the smaller setting stuff. I'm having to reference this stuff because we only just started to look into it as a group. Um, Mark Carl's been really checking out the models and the different army options, so has Magic Monkey. Uh, um, Arak has been really diving into the rules and seeing what he thinks. He, I think Arak's analysis of the rules were pretty much like it's not like the, his ideal perfect rule set, but he quite liked it. Um, so I'm going. I'm I'm game for that. Um, but I'm just trying to give you an idea of what was going on. What, whilst we were there, I saw a lot of people um, having fun, shaking hands. I, I actually did a pa camera shot. I'll show you now uh, of the room, uh, the main room where everything was going on, where they were showcasing new models and things like that. And in that one shot I took, uh, there was two lots of shaking of hands over games. One of them had just finished that we were watching. We also got to have a look at some of the previews of like some of the models uh, that were coming up. Um, I managed to get a couple of clips of the, some of the uh, basic models, the things that are being designed at the moment. They're designing going on, painting on, just exactly what you'd expect from an open day at this sort of thing. Um, but um, something that I forgot is that we got there and immediately was given a goodie bag. So uh, I'm going to just dive into this a little bit more now. Uh, there's a sprue with some terrain on. I'm not sure exactly which system this is from. I'm guessing. I'm guessing it's probably dead, dead zone terrain. It's it's part of the futuristic look stuff anyway, and um, that'll go cool. That that'll go in my scenery box, and uh, I'm going to make some useful stuff out of that. So possibly watch out for some videos coming on that very soon. Um, and then there's the uh, the Kings of War. Uh, book we were given that this is the current Kings of War one not the the new version now from what I can tell all the systems they've got going on are all in version one and the new Kings of War that they're kickstarting now is the first version two um, so that looks to be good and I it sounds like they're going to be doing Warpath in the future sometime soon and then there was their uh, Mantic Journal their magazine I had had a quick flick through there's a lot of there's a few bits of advertising which involves uh, some big discounts apparently. Uh, looks at some stats and stuff. Um, story, I think. Products. Um, the birth of a game they're talking about. I think the beginning of Kings of War or something. Um, and then there's a bit about the uh, Dwarf King stuff as well. There's lots of awesome things in there. That 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 I'm going to have a good read of that. And then there were some models as well. Um, in my bag, I got uh, a nice little alien with some sort of alien weapon uh, from their Mars Attacks thing. Quite like their Mars Attacks. I'll probably paint that up later. Uh, and then there's some stuff here which looks like it's probably from... I'm guessing Dead Zone? It looks like some sort of futuristic orc or goblin-y type thing so yeah a few freebie models so it's, that was nice um, as we were going in we was all given one of them 
And uh, yeah, so really enjoyed the day so far. I mean, it was a moderately short day, but you know, it's uh, it was really good. It was really good, and I'm so excited now. Before I was curious. I went to the Mantic Open Day. I was curious. Come back. I'm excited. Um, so my person, what I'm going to be doing now after this video, I'm off to that Kickstarter. Um, I'm going to see what I fancy. I'm going to try and do some pledge on there and get involved. Um, yeah, I, I think this is this is cool. I'm looking forward to working uh, with Mantic in terms of the the game systems and what they've got going on. Basically, they they tick my boxes. Um, so yeah, looking looking good. Well, that's all from me for now. Uh, I'm going to leave you with a couple of shots of a uh, kind of an oil rig that uh, one of the guys built. It took him six months, and it looked fantastic. I uh, I hope my, my little shots that I took here do it justice. Um, but yeah, that's all from me. I just wanted to share with you my enthusiasm and excitement over this this system that's been going on for a while, unbeknownst to uh, myself and. Um, I'm hoping to do a series. Maybe we'll start with some Mantic scenery, follow a couple of things, maybe follow the Kings of War 2 release. Um, I have certainly want to have a go at Dribble. Uh, so we'll see what's coming up. If you want to keep in touch with what's going on, remember, get on my Facebook and Twitter. You'll find out everything that I'm doing on there. But that's all from me for now, my ramblings of this event. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And until I see you again, it's goodbye from me.